Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back on Death Stay tonight. We did play a little bit more in the interim uh, since Monday nights, and we did end up unlocking the last character, um, which we'll probably not be playing as because he's super slow. I don't, I don't like him too much. Um, but let's see. Let's see. We're going to try to unlock the rest of the little character endings here, so let's see what we got to do yet. Seeker, Scar, Scientist, and Pumpkin Man. Okay, so four of them. Four of them left to go. Uh, we should probably be able to get probably most of the rest of them, I would say, tonight. <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's start with Yield Box Standard, I suppose. And then work our way up from there. Um, so we're not going to do any desecration or whatever, um, because I think that kind of skips the normal character endings. Um, and we'll have to make sure we get all those before we kind of move on here. best upgrades we can get as we go along here, but if we miss a couple, it's no big deal. some luck up in here. 101% luck. <laughs> that really doesn't mean much to me. But whatever. Oh dang. Maybe it's a whole desecration thing right off the bat. Well, we're gonna skip it. <laughs> we are going to skip it this time. health and luck upgrade in the <clears throat> fireball ring thing. Adjusting to it a little bit, so we're gonna be far less trashy tonight than we were even earlier this week. So that is good. I mean, it's all relative, I suppose. Oh, this one's not as fun. But it is the uh, <clears throat> highest tier version of each sword, I suppose. So that's at least a small scene. Get 
something out of it. Too bad we don't have a plague firing thing. Because now that would be super beefy, but that's alright, maybe we'll find one later. grab on the way out. since I know this first area is really super simple. You can easily lose a bunch without really being in any sort of major danger. Although perhaps now would be a good time to start playing a little bit better. <laughs> oh, especially now, yeah. Now we can do with some health drops, please. Just a few. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Ah, see? There we go. Everything's fine. that right away. Ah, well. kind of relying on a little extra dealy box. Ooh, what do we got there? Is that going to be the fire one? Might grab that instead of that big old battle axe. Oops, sir. Okay. We'll go with it. <coughs> yeah. Huge amount of fire. We'll go with it. We'll be up in some business for a long time, so it's out of touch.
exactly. I guess we got plus 3% to luck, but... That doesn't really seem much like luck abounding to me. That seems like a minor increase in luck. Oh well, I guess we'll take every increase we can get. That's fine. If they choose to call it luck abounding, well, good for them. gives us even more firepower plus a little boost to our visual range or so it says. I think it matters, but yeah, sure. Really much around us. Uh, ice cream, well. Although that does give us uh, extremely good power on the line, so maybe we'll hang on to this one. here. 
area. <laughs> Oops. a lot of things. Literally nothing? Thanks, buddy.
pick up around here somewhere. Or no, wait, did that take away my one of my max healths? I thought I had up to nine. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's not that difficult a game if you don't uh, tempt fate and desecrate a whole bunch of shit.
if she can. Plague damage, so may as well.
pretty decent considering. Kind of just skipping through all this. Not really taking the time to scour for anything. to live by, magic recovery going on, so hell yeah. Tough fight. <laughs> 
very difficult. Stand right up in his business and fire off the fire. But hey, we got the, the ending for the very first character finally. <laughs> Scientist Scar and I believe one other. Uh, and Pumpkin Man, that's right. Alright. Let's go. Let's start with Scar. Er, is that? No.
Drink it. Drink it. Oh. <laughs> Watch over you. I mean, sometimes it's just what you gotta do, right? Just kind of relax, let your vision unfocus. Admittedly, there's not much going on here since we're not uh, deliberately increasing the difficulty. That's right. That will come later. and we've got um, Pumpkin Man to finish off here real quick. And then after that we can try some maybe maybe some insanity runs or whatever, like the super ultra hard mode, and then immediately wonder what we were doing with our lives. That's usually how that stuff goes. underpowered. Just haven't been getting good luck on our, uh, our buffs here. Hell yeah, let's gamble. Hell yeah, 100 bucks. Started with that shit. Also cider season, so 
I can totally get into cider. Which is so dang expensive sometimes. Ouch. Self to induce rage, crippling you, but doubling your damage for six seconds. That uh, that's dangerous, no thanks. <laughs> that's super dangerous, and we will have no part of it. to laissez-faire here, you know what I'm saying? Damage. We need to go full glass cannon here. Okay. Hey. Am I shooting flowers? No, I think those are supposed to be snowflakes. <laughs> Since we've got an ice-based attack, but. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell when they're uh, flying ultra fast here. Admittedly, not the easiest visual thing to pick up on. Let's see. Let me see if I can pause it and see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, I think those are snowflakes. Stream artifacting probably doesn't help with that. <laughs> like I wouldn't expect snowflakes necessarily. I'd expect more like icicles since they're they're sharp, sharp and pointy. But it's kind of a, a tepid level. these dog things are displacer beasts. I was thinking about this the other day. Like, I swear I've seen it before, and I think it's... I think they're displacers. I'm not sure, though. Since they tend to warp around when you hit them. I think that's the case. Heck if I know. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Womp. Ah, oh, well. Hey, we lock unlocked something that I hope we'll see so we can figure out what it is. Alright, let's hope we get some better weapons this time, because that that ice one, that, it's, it's alright. It's not great. I probably should have just stuck to the default, though. Let's 
hopefully this is more reliable. Shall receive. Alright, that should make things go a touch faster now. Three projectiles instead of one. some volume. Can't just deal with a, a couple really strong bullets. No, we need a carpet bomb's worth of bullets here. Let's go. fire nice damage to begin with though here.
Trevor. Didn't need that health. That might be the two laser one. Uh, yes. Oh, that's the flame one. Oh, perfect. Okay. The axes are doing very well for us. What's this one? It's a triple fire. The triple normal fire now. It's keeping the flames. I think we do have a slight boost to flame damage. Yep, 120%. Very good. It's been a hot minute since I've seen Conan the Barbarian, though. Maybe I should watch that tonight. Got the, the classic one with Amu. It's fucking sick. It, I mean, it's not a great movie, let's be honest, but it's funny. It's it's really good seeing, like, what is that, late 80s, right? What was that, late 70s? Man, I don't even remember how old that movie is, but it's fucking... It's good. <laughs> it's good just because it's got Arnold in it, let's be honest. Steel, leg bullets, no. Sick ass battle axe back. There we go. Back at max health. 
poor health isn't great, but we can only deal with what you got. Now we're putting out some serious damage. They're boosting fire rate, axes and flames and shit. Let's go. Now we're talking. Now we're Taking stupid damage, we're never gonna get that high. Which one is that? Fireballs. Fireballs is tempting, because I think that's longer range. I think it does persistent damage. Yeah, we'll take the fireball.
a little bit careful so I don't beef it up this late in the run.
fire for normal. Oh, wait, actually, no. No, 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 no. Um, let the axe go. I want that back. There we go. I already got fireballs. It's the spiral of the axe bullets. It's really fucking strong. right up there. I don't care for nothing. <laughs> wow. Incredible. <laughs> I guess that's what uh, four spreads of three axe bullets will do when you just sit right in the middle of it. <laughs> Easy peasy. Plenty of time to finish this off. Let's go. Plus we get extra speed too. And we get auto-identifying potions. So we don't have to chug them all on sight. We'll already know what they do. Let's get some of them out of it. Damn it. 
kind of slow fire main isn't great. 70 buckos for some health boo. Don't need that. some more output here somewhere. Concentrated at the bottom of the glass there. Woo. Heck yeah.
it matters. All the exits are usually in the other half of the thing anyways. Not much, but it's something. Ice, fire, plague, and entropy. Jesus. That's a lot of damage. I don't know that we have any of that except that uh, randomized ice bowl that fires, what, every seven times or whatever?
Ow! Okay, I'm not sure what hit me there. Whatever. Uh, okay. Um, Pumpkin Man was the other one, right? Let's give him a go. It's more damage, less rate of fire, but also fear. Crowd control. I gotta admit, I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> a little low energy at this point. It's been a hell of a week. It's been a bit of a week. I've had to do a lot of after hours crap for work for database upgrades and, and shit like that, which ideally and thankfully we were able to do it off hours, so it went pretty well, but it was very late in the evening for many nights this week, so very, very tired. Very, very tired. But that's alright. That's alright. Sometimes it uh, just happens. Sometimes it's just a thing that goes on. too much about it. They complained about shit being down for an hour in the middle of the gosh dang night for the majority of our customers. It's about as well as you can hope most times. similar for probably at least a couple of years. I hope. But one never truly knows. Six AM as you tried shit. Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oi, that's that's rough. That is rough when things go tits up. And you can't just leave it for the next day because it needs to be fixed. <laughs> Yeah, 
That's why we get paid the big bucks, right? <laughs> Take care of all that crap. Oi. One can hope. One can hope and one can dream. That shit's free. <laughs> Big old chain of stuff did it. You know what? That's fine. Don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. Don't breathe on it. Don't even look at it. <laughs> Just leave it. Oh, man. That's funny. The black magic that does things sometimes. That's the best way I can explain. How, how, how sometimes things go. How sometimes things be. You just kind of throw up your hands and be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh wow, you're still vulnerable in rage. That's silly. That seems awfully silly. database do we use? We use a whole bunch of AWS, uh, mostly RDS, uh, their managed stuff. We still have some EC2 instances with a uh, SQL Server installed on it, which really sucks and we're trying to move away from it. Um, a lot of our stuff is Postgres, yeah. Uh, it's not my most favorite thing to deal with in the world. But honestly, I, I feel like Postgres is better than SQL Server. And maybe... Maybe only slightly better than MySQL. I don't... Honestly, I don't know. I don't get enough into the weeds with it to... To form strong opinions... About which database engine is better than the next. All I know is... They need to stay running. And if they stay running, it's fine. I don't worry about it. It's when shit stops running is when it becomes a problem. <laughs> It always has their own DB. Yeah, yeah, they have their own... They have their own man... I don't even, I don't even know if I want to call it man. But they have their own kind of flavor of SQL Server, MySQL, and Postgres called Aurora. Which is nice, sort of. It's very restrictive on what you can do regarding upgrades, like version upgrades, which is kind of nice in its own regard. Um, but we have a weird mix of that and then just straight up Postgres, straight up uh, SQL Server and all that. 
which is very tough <laughs> to make it all play nicely with each other. I am only uh, oh, God. It's kind of tough to make that all play nicely, especially when you want to make stuff consistent. But hey, whatever. It's job security the way I see it sometimes. Database engine that works, right? Um, well, I mean, you joke. <laughs> you joke, but sometimes it does. Sometimes it very much does. Uh, we don't do a whole heck of a lot of that. In fact, I don't think we do any of that, thankfully. It's it's not the most efficient way to get things done. But I, I think in theory you can do that. It's not great. It's not great. Actually, no. I'm lying. I think we do th do that sort of thing in some isolated cases. And it's not fun. But I don't think any database joins are really all that fun. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a gosh dang DBA. DevOps. <laughs> I'm learning most of your SQL on SFT Court 4. Alright, fair. That's fair. I mean, you'd think, right? Like, most of these huge RDBMS flavors should all roughly follow the SQL standard, right? And they do, like, 90% of the time. But then everybody's got their own bright ideas about how to handle shit. And then it just gets to be a nightmare when you do want to do something very specific. And then, oh no, I can't do it. I can't do it with this one, because they don't support such and such. We can do it in this other one, but we're trying to get off that other one. And it's like, ah, oh, fuck.
See, that's the thing with uh, competent and sensible devs. They know. They know when the ships are sinking. And they will hightail it out of there. <laughs> Not to say that your ship is sinking. But yeah, it's, it's, that's a damn shame. Oh, so it's a it's a very slow leak then. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's unfortunate too. You know how the higher ups just kind of manage everything in the ground. Yeah, that shit happens. at the closest thing in range and it auto aims for you as well. Which I'm not a huge fan of, but I mean it gets the job done when the shit's really hitting the fan, I suppose.
don't necessarily say it's easy. I mean, there's still a lot of shit going on. But yeah, it's a, it's a lot less to think about than I'm typically used to, that's for sure. And we are playing on the little babby normal mode at the moment, so there's not really a whole heck of a lot that's extremely threatening besides our own stupidity. I didn't. I heard that he was released, and I heard that a lot of people are very happy. I guess I didn't catch wind of the other side of it. What, what are what are people complaining about? God, people can never be happy, can they? Got to be always. Got to be something to complain about. Like my God, Smash is what like 90 characters now, or something like that. Some ridiculous amount, and people still aren't happy. Fuck. Fighting game inputs being too complicated and not in the spirit of Smash. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess I did hear a little bit about that. But it's like, yeah, uh, whatever. I didn't, didn't Ken and Ryu already have that sort of thing? I thought they did. At least a couple. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I mean, I kind of get that because, I mean, I'm not a huge fighting game person. Specifically for that reason, like all the the weird joystick and button inputs and shit, like I can't deal with that. My hands are not meant to be moved in such directions. <laughs> so I really dig the whole smash thing, like up B, left B, right B, down B, etc., etc. That I can handle. That my little my puny mind brain can handle those. But, yeah, I mean, I can kind of understand the point about that, but at the same time, it's like, come on, man. There's literally 120 other different characters you can use that don't have those motions to them. So I'm pretty sure you can find somebody you can play as. Oh, my goodness. sort of thing is like if you think about like hugely high level smash play and how many different techniques there are even with the quote unquote simplified button inputs like that's not much different <laughs> like that shit's kind of crazy with what people do with the very limited button sets and like develop these weird ass techniques that are extremely complicated to input with any regularity. Probably as complicated as any other traditional fighting game. Whatever. People can play however the fuck they want to play. Yeah. I'm too old to care about that shit. <laughs> it's funny to say that. I am too old to care about people bitching about it.
I do I do recall reading a little bit more about other characters for Smash, so they wanted to include what's what's her name? Mai or something from King of Fighters, but they couldn't because of supposed really sexually suggestive costumes or whatever. I remember reading a bit um, from Sakurai kind of explaining why they couldn't do it. They wanted to do it, but they couldn't. It's like, oh, it's, it's too sexualized or whatever. And he's like, you know what, clothing is just fabric or whatever. And I, I kind of agree with that, too. It's like, well, people... Have you seen the internet? People will sexualize anything. So, what the fuck? <clears throat> There's literally use sexual appeal to distract our enemies in battle. Okay, I can I can see that then, yeah. Yeah, like I'm I'm not into King Fighters or anything like that, so I don't know any any of the backstory as to why certain things are included and certain things are not. I think it went so far as that they had, um, at least in the Wii U version of Smash, they had to give Calutena some clothes. <laughs> some shorts, if I recall correctly. Because that was apparently too, too, too much. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just kind of remembering bits and pieces of shit that I was reading yesterday and today about this stuff. to be family friendly and whatever. Yeah, Bay yeah, Bayonetta, yep, 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 yep. That's that's uh, the most common counterpoint I saw brought up <laughs> was the inclusion of Bayonetta. And it's like, yeah, it doesn't really seem to be a whole lot of logic to it, does there? Does there, does there. Wow, why is my screen super red? I don't know, man. Like, some of that shit. I mean, I understand it, but I don't understand it at the same time. Okay, maybe this is a little too much. <laughs> Damn bad, damn arousing as heck. Come on, help help me out here. Damn can mean a lot of things. But no, I did not. I did not catch that.
Some producers are safe. A couple of Asian models pitching the game and showing some gameplay, okay. Naturally, as they do. for people to do on their own. No, you gotta you gotta do it during a promotional event, don't you? That's that's ridiculous. That's like I'm not one to really care about that sort of crap, but that's a little bit beyond the pale. Just the touch beyond the pale. Oh, they're making the models and stuff during the segment. Oh boy! Wow, top class. Uh, like, do do they even like? Do they even read over what they're gonna do for some of that stuff? Do you think? Do they, do they go like, oh hey, I've got an idea, and then just fucking run with it? Do they review any of that at all, do you think? Because it sounds like they don't. It really sounds like nobody fucking rubbed the two brain cells together and said, oh hey, maybe this isn't a good thing to do. Fucking hell. It's incredible. Just incredible. to get uh, video games and esports taken seriously, but that is not the way. That is certainly not the way.
the stream <laughs> like, like. some night just for grinsies it's been a hot minute since i played that that would be a good uh, saturday night grab bag stuff just beat the shit out of some like I'm a good fighter dude. I'm really, I'm really starting to lose energy here. <laughs> seven of the eight endings, so, you know, I'm, I'm willing to call that close enough to semi-glory. Oh, not a whole bunch of shit there. Cool, so let's, let's check our stats once and then we'll call it. I think the only one we're missing is the scientist ending, yep. And then we got the two main ones. We didn't see that last area though, which I'm I might look up how to get it and, and maybe do that off stream or something, but I think we did some good work here. We did most of the things. And that will have to be good enough for tonight. Because I'm super tired. Alright, that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night. 7-ish PM CD, it's not CDT, it's CST. 
7-ish p.m. CST. It's grab bag, grab bag, grab bag. My leaning is toward, ah, jeez. My leaning is toward maybe firing up some Everspace. Get my six doth on because uh, there's going to be an Everspace 2 coming out next year. I think next year? I don't know. If, did they announce a release date for that? I don't know. I don't remember. But anyways, I'm getting I'm getting the itch for some for some six stuff, and Everspace is really fucking awesome. So we might be playing some Everspace tomorrow. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.